My name is Daniel Fox. I'm the executive chef here and the assistant general manager uh, at the Madison Club. We're at 5 East Wilson. Uh, we're a private club. We have a banquet facility and a fine dining room on our top floor. We try to feature as much local, uh, sustainable produce and protein as possible. Uh, we're right at the beginning of the spring season, which is fantastic. I have uh, a fantastic recipe to show you featuring uh, all the ingredients I got personally handpicked uh, from the market uh, this past Saturday. From the uh, Dane County Farmer's Market? From the Dane County Farmer's Market. Okay, excellent. And I think this next Saturday uh, you'll be able to find all of these ingredients on May 1st and uh, hopefully you'll recreate this salad at home. And, uh, we'll so this is there. what you'd call a seasonal dish? This is absolutely a seasonal dish. Okay. And again, that's probably what we feature the most here in the fine dining room okay. is uh, seasonal ingredients. And since we're in spring, uh, we're trying to lighten things up, get things really fresh, uh, mainly uh, trying to hit those nice new green vegetables. Perfect. Uh, since we're, uh, we're lacking them for so long. Perfect. All right. So what are you going to show us today? Uh, we're going to have a raw spring vegetable salad uh, with a bacon, warm bacon vinaigrette. Nice. So I'm going to start with a warm bacon vinaigrette. I have some bacon on the stove okay. that I diced up mm -hmm. nice and small. Uh, this is actually Fountain Prairie Farms bacon. Oh. They have Berkshire pork. We rendered it out over medium heat. And I'm going to get all the bacon and all the fat into my bowl. Okay, and when you say rendered it out for us render <laughs> out professionals, what does that mean? <laughs> Cook it? <laughs> I have uh, I start with a, a pan that fits uh, the bacon nice, uh, one layer of bacon on the bottom. And I cook it over medium heat, uh, get the pan nice and warm before I put the bacon in. And you can see all the nice little caramelization in the pan. Right. Uh, that's kind of what you're looking for. I'm not looking to get the bacon really uh, crispy, uh, more so just nice and rendered out. It okay. takes about five minutes in the pan. Okay. And when you see that caramelization build up, that's kind of what you're looking for. All righty. So I have the, my bacon and the bacon fat in my bowl. I'm going to add in some aged red wine vinegar. Actually, this is a 12-year aged red wine vinegar. I bought this from uh, Vam Foss. So a little touch of Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard adds a nice bit of uh, acid and body. I have an orange, a little bit of uh, orange zest. Citrus and bacon are a very friendly combination. So this is a nice little uh, zester. You can pick these up at any uh, okay. specialty store. They're coming very popular now. And the juice. Juice that in. I always like to strain the juice to catch all the seeds. Now I have some uh, ramps and spring garlic. Oh. Uh, these both come up uh, right in the beginning of the season. Okay, ramps, what are? What ramps are, are in the onion family. Uh, they are, you both get generally wild ramps. Uh, you can get farm ramps. Uh, these came from Harmony Valley. Okay. Uh, they have beautiful leafy greens on top. Yeah. The very delicate onion flavor. Uh, some people will say there are hints of garlic within the flavor. And you have these nice little bulbs on the, the bottom of the ramp. Uh, generally, we'll cut those off or cut them very thin and quickly saute those, okay. and the leaves can be served raw. Nice. Or quickly wilted. Uh, nice. Today, we're going to serve them raw. And those are only available for a fairly short time. Fairly short right? time. Uh, the shortest season that I have seen is two weeks. Wow. Um, but the season's rolling really nice right now, so we should have a nice ramp season. Okay. And I highly recommend Harmony Valley. They do a fantastic job. Definitely. And spring garlic, now that's not a garlic bulb like you're used to seeing later in the season. That's kind of the early garlic, correct? That's the early version of the garlic. As soon as it starts uh, shooting uh, uh -huh. out of the grounds, uh, garlic is planted in the fall. So the oh. first shoots that oh, come okay. up, uh, they're nice and leafy. And mm -hmm. you, uh, it's a beautiful, mild garlic flavor. Okay. So I use both the whites of the ramps and the spring garlic. I'm just gonna quickly, gently saute those in the pan uh, that I, with the bacon fat. Okay. Oh, Just to kind I of see. wilt them down gently. Gotcha. 
Now for our salad. We have a nice array of different uh, vegetables that I picked up again from the market. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. We have some uh, asparagus. This is the first asparagus of the season. Uh -huh. uh, we took the asparagus on a mandolin and cut it very, very thin. Just run it down the mandolin. Hmm. Um, that's a mandolin. It's okay. a mandolin. You can pick these up at, again, a specialty, uh, specialty, specialty shops. Um, there's definitely a few shops in town have them. Okay. Uh, this work can also be done with a knife. Uh, you just cut the asparagus very, very thin on the bias. You want it nice and thin uh, to get so it breaks nicely in the salad. That smells just beautiful. So we have the uh, garlic and the ramps nicely sauteed. Beautiful. I'm going to add that to my vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. So we cut the asparagus into nice uh, thin strips. Yep. With our mandolin, mm -hmm. um, nice sharp blade on the mandolin, so please be careful. And we're going to add that into our bowl. Again, it's completely raw. We have some radishes. These are nice spring radishes Oh. that came, uh, again, from the farmer's market. Uh, we shaved them on the mandolin as well. This work can also be done with a knife. It's just what? nice to get them nice and thin. Those are beautiful. And you don't have to worry about getting them... Uh, Unbelievably thin, just uh, as thin as you can get them. Okay. This, these are uh, red mustard greens that we got from uh, Gen Air Farms. Ah, okay. We have some uh, nice frilly green mustard. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, very nice in the spring. Uh, it has a very nice, uh, slightly bitter, fresh flavor. Okay. Some uh, pea shoots. These are from uh, Scott from Garden to Bee. Uh, there are definitely a lot of other people now carrying those at the farmer's market. And along with the radishes, we have the radish greens. When you get spring radishes, um, a lot of people throw the greens away. I think this is one of the best parts of the radish. Really? And it really adds a nice bite and uh, that nice little bit of heat uh, to your green mixture for salads. Okay. So I definitely encourage you to use those. Uh, it's a perfect time of year. So a lot of the green that we've been throwing away, you're saying is we actually should be, you actually should throwing be using that those. into the salad. Absolutely. We're going to cut up our ramp greens. Those are in the salad as well. We'll take our vinaigrette. We're going to finish this vinaigrette with a touch of uh, honey. I guess from the bee charmer. Oh, yeah. Very solid. So, yeah. So a nice clover honey and a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil. Nice uh, fruity extra virgin olive oil. Okay. So that's pretty much it for the vinaigrette. Just whisk it up. Very simple. Very simple. It's a uh, touch warm. We'll pour this over just a little bit over our salad. A little bit of fine sea salt, a little pepper. I always like to put just as much vinaigrette that it takes to uh, coat the greens. You don't want any uh, building up in the bottom of your bowl. You can see the bottom of my bowl is pretty dry. There's nothing running off the salad greens. That's very important. That's a properly dressed salad. Uh -huh. uh, if you do have some running off, um, your greens will wilt down. They'll just become too coated, and you'll lose all the flavor of those nice, delicate vegetables. Okay. And again, it's a nice spring salad. This is definitely something we would serve in our fine dining room, and I think is absolutely easy enough to uh, make at home. Wonderful. Wonderful. So, anything else with that? Uh, this is it. This that's is your it. salad. Boy, that didn't take long at all. No, that's a very simple preparation. Okay. And it's just a um, spring salad, everything you can get now. It's kind of like in a few weeks, on uh, to something else, right? Absolutely. Uh, the asparagus will be around for a little while. Same with the radishes. Uh, the bacon vinaigrette, I encourage you to use that all season long. Yep. Uh, but as far as the mustard greens, uh, it's this time of year, the delicate flavors of all of the, uh, the ingredients in here, it's really what makes it work. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Thank you.